have dark or bright colors because if you will use it like that it will make some mess there. So okay, that is off. Now let's go edit a little bit this image. So for sure I want to make it a bit darker. So we'll take this a bit down. I will pull down also the red. And put there a bit more blue. And probably <coughs> a little bit darker. Oh, how you wish. It's your taste. It's up to you how we'll be looking at the end. So, okay. Here we have the hand. Here we have the spot where will be some ring, which is pointing on the building. And now, uh, to be able to complete the tutorial, you need some brushes. Now, I forgot to tell this at the beginning. So, But don't worry, you can load them even now in Photoshop, so you don't have to restart them. And I placed the name uh, of the brushes under the description of the tutorial, so please download them because we will be using uh, some of them. Now, uh, to make a hologram we need some picture which we want to make like it's a hologram or looking like a hologram and also we need some pattern. Now the pattern will create some kind of noise which is causing the producing of the hologram and uh, also it will adjust the color and other things there. So for that uh, we need to create or define a new pattern. So we'll go to file, new, now we'll create a document like this. Make it transparent so I will delete the white layer. Now let's go here. There's pixels. So let's place, place it into the zero and make it like 40 to 40. So 40 and 80. And now we'll use here three colors. First, first one will be white. Fill it. The second one will be the color which we want the hologram will be. I will use a light uh, blue or aqua. So a little bit not green, but it's fine. And at the end we'll place here a black one. So let's go here, select black and fill it here. Now edit, define pattern, let's call it hologram tutorial. And let's go back here to the image. Now, I <coughs> made a sketch of how it should look at the end. Okay, my sketch is really nice, so I hope it will be looking also at the end. And now I need to do some borders uh, for the hologram. So the interface will be not uh, everywhere on the image, even that it could be, but we'll make it somewhere like this. So <coughs> Sorry. So I will uh, track here the guides, like it should be here, here, or better between here. Now, let's go to this image. Uh, the pattern which we defined now, or before, we will use on some, on some part of the image, on some on some picture to create the effect of an hologram. And for this I will use this hand. So I will copy this and I'm using that okay let's make but never mind. And I'm using this because there is some noise. It's noisy, it's nicely noisy and it's and the difference between the blacks, the whites they're really nice and I really like it how it looks. So I will use this for the borders. Now the borders will be created from some blocks. The blocks can be anything. I will use a round shape, which I will make big like this. Now I will rasterize this, 
place it above my image here. Just Control click, Control C, Control V, and we can delete this. So I will use this one, and you can make uh, anyway any anything you like. So Control G to make a new group. Call it border. You can hide this. I will not this one, but this one. I will probably name it to skin and copy this one. Rotate that probably ninety degrees. Make it smaller. Probably bigger. And place it here. 